You think you know Suicide Squad? Well, here's some things you may not have known about the worst of the worst. I want to assemble a task force of the most dangerous people on the planet. They're bad guys. Worst of the worst. During production of Suicide Squad, Jared Leto became so immersed in his role as the Joker that he stayed in character even when filming stopped. He sent Margot Robbie a live rat, Will Smith bullets, and a dead hog for the crew. Viola Davis, who played Amanda Waller, recounts the experience by saying, quote, Now I'm terrified as a person, thinking, is he crazy? But the second part was, oh, shit, I have to get my stuff together. You talk about commitment, and then he sends Margot Robbie a black rat? It was still alive in a box. She screamed, and then she kept it. Leto's behavior as the Joker was so extreme that actor and friend Scott Eastwood was afraid to interact with him while he was in character. Quote, I was sort of afraid to approach him because I didn't want to mess with his thing going on. I can't wait to show you my toys. Suicide Squad will be the third live action portrayal of the Suicide Squad. The first was in Smallville in 2001, and the second was in Arrow in 2012. Originally, Tom Hardy was cast as Rick Flagg, but had to drop out because of his role in The Revenant. Interesting enough, his last brush with DC was The Dark Knight Rises as Bane, an original member of Suicide Squad in the comics. Before Joel Kinnaman was cast to replace Hardy, Jake Gyllenhaal, John Bernthal, and Joel Egerton were considered. Before Margot Robbie was cast in the role of Harley Quinn, the role was offered to Emma Roberts, who ultimately turned it down in favor of 2015 Scream Queens. Several other actresses were considered for the role, including Zoe Deschanel, Rooney Mara, Olivia Wilde, Emma Watson, and Amanda Seyfried. What was that? I should kill everyone and escape? Sorry. The voices. <laughs> I'm kidding. That's not what they really said. Similarly, Ryan Gosling was first approached to play the Joker. He turned the role down as he did not want to be tied down to several films, which was a requirement by the studio. Will Smith jumped at the opportunity to play Deadshot because of the nature of the role, saying, quote, It's a character that hasn't really been explored in cinema. I get to design it and be a part of creating the first round of Deadshot in the history of cinema. To prepare for the role, Smith trained with Navy SEALs and Army Rangers in firearm proficiency. He proved to be particularly skilled in long-distance shooting with an AR-15. Y'all jokers must be crazy. I'm not just Paul Dini, who created Harley Quinn for Batman the Animated Series in 1992, appraised Harley's new look in Suicide Squad as promising and acknowledged the departure from her classic look, saying, quote, I know it's jarring to a lot of people who love the classic Bruce Timm suit. I love it myself. But in that world, I just don't see it happening. It's a rougher, more street look, and I think it works fine. Despite the fact that the origins of the Suicide Squad stretch back to 1959, the film is primarily set on the Suicide Squad that came in DC's New 52 relaunch in 2011. And here's a bonus one. To commemorate having worked together on Suicide Squad, both Margot Robbie and Will Smith ended up tattooing the cast and crew with a squad tattoo, reading SKWAD. Robbie ended up tattooing 26 people. However, she did end up spelling the first one incorrectly by accidentally dropping the K and spelling SWAD instead. What you having? Beer. Whiskey. What am I, 12? How about you, hot stuff? Water. That's a good idea, honey. That's it for this episode of You Think You Know Movies. Make sure to subscribe, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and get the latest movie and TV news on ScreenCrush.com.